Hi, I'm Ben from Universal Audio, and today I'm going to show you a few tricks for using the UAD Thermionic Culture Vulture plugin. Now, the Culture Vulture will go all the way from subtle, just adding some warmth and harmonics to a sound, to complete and absolute destruction and chaos, which also sounds awesome. So let's take a look. For this first example, I soloed up some drums. Now, as you can see on my drum bus, I already have the Oxide Tape plugin inserted, so I'm getting some harmonics, but I wanna push that even further. I wanna add a lot of crunch and just some nastiness to these drums. And that's what the Culture Vulture is perfect for. Let's hear what these drums sound like as is. Not bad, right? Let's see what the Culture Vulture can do to those. Now there's three different distortion types inside the Culture Vulture. There's T, P1, and P2. T is kind of the subtle, just adding harmonics, adding some gain to the sound. P1 and P2, that's where it starts to get a little nasty. So let's start with P1. Now, like most distortion pedals, when you turn up the drive, it also turns up the volume. So let's turn down the output volume a little bit, or a lot. So that's adding all sorts of crunch and bite to the drums. But it's also, you know, there's a lot of cymbals and it's just getting a little harsh sounding. Well, they thought of that, so they added in a low-pass filter at 9K and 6K, just to tame down the top end. Let's see what that sounds like at 9K. So now that's focusing the drive on the meat of the sound, which is exactly what I was looking for. Now one of the things that the plugin can do that the hardware can't is as a wet dry knob. So now I can blend in the perfect amount of this driven, crunchy, nasty effect with the dry drums so I can get some of my transient response back. Let's take a listen. You can really hear all that added attitude to the kick, the snare, and, and the toms without getting too splashy or, or washed out with the cymbals. This is a perfect example of what the Culture Vulture does best. So now I'm going to show you a subtle example of just adding some warmth to an acoustic guitar. Now this is going to be subtle, so make sure you're wearing like good headphones or you're listening to this on studio monitors, because on your iPhone or your laptop, it's just going to all sound the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the drive, and we'll just hear some of the harmonics getting added, really listen to the meat of this guitar. It's already got plenty of bright, happy, shiny top end. What I'm looking to do here is really bring out the body of the instrument by adding harmonics to it. So now I got something dialed in, let's hear without and again with to make sure we're adding something that we actually want. See what I mean? Just a warmer, rounder kind of body to it. But, you know, we're still getting all those pretty shiny high end without sacrificing any of the transient or the pick sound to the guitar either. Once again, Culture Vulture does amazing things when you want harmonic saturation or distortion for your tracks. So that's a couple of examples of how I like to use the UAD Thermionic Culture Vulture plugin. As you heard, it goes all the way from just subtle, rich, warm harmonics all the way to just complete chaos and anarchy and distortion. And if you want to learn more about the Thermionic Culture Vulture, you can go to uaudio.com, or if you're an Apollo or UAD hardware owner, you can actually demo this thing for free for 14 days, and I highly suggest that you do. I'll see you next time.